You got a fever? I gotta tell you, I'm very disappointed in you. I'm, I'm really very disappointed in you. I know. I'm sorry you're missing your party. Oh, the hell with the party. I mean, I'm disappointed in you. Why? I done all the cooking, and I had it all ready for Harry you when it comes. I'm talking about you don't think much of me. I do. No, you don't. Oh, oh, I do. Don't I always bring you beer when oh, you geez, want it? Be, that don't prove nothing. Oh, no, 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 I always have dinner hot for you when you come home. That don't prove nothing either. Well, I wash your clothes and I iron them and I put them in the right drawers. I could, I, I could hire a Sybil Gooley to do them things. Sybil Gooley would never do them things for you. Why the hell not? Because she don't like you. Oh, yeah. Archie, I love you. That's why I do them things for you. Why didn't you tell me you were sick? I tried to, but I didn't want to spoil your party. I the party? I don't want to hear nothing more about the party. The hell with the party. Jeez. He was too busy being Mrs. Nice Guy. With your shoes. Well, it's cold up here. <laughs> you was being selfish, Edith. Selfish? That's right. S E double loafish. <laughs> I guess you wanted me to go on alone, trying to raise that little girl who already lost one mother. No! Oh, jeez, Edith. You're always being too good. 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 I don't want to tell you, I'm tired of suffering from that. <laughs> from now on, like they say in the old song, there's going to be...